Alrighty, everybody. Hello, my friends. We are working it here today in the Fame and Steel household, doing crazy amazing things. I did something I said I would never do, and I put something on a crowdfunding platform. So the medical locker went up on a crowdfunding platform called fund um, which I got uh, information about from I want to give a shout out to kitchen table consultants they are out of the Philadelphia area if you are doing business planning around anything go talk to them <laughs> I love them they're amazing <laughs> and um, they are yeah absolutely the people if you're in local food and you want to um, and you want to uh, get a business together absolutely get them out at kitchen table consultants and they're pretty cool so today I wanted I was doing um, I was doing my self coaching this morning and I was thinking about I do you know I do a lot of things if you know if you've been listening to this on a scale of 1 to 10 like I do a lot of scales of things I was thinking today about beliefs and what I was believing about my own debt. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a story about business debt. Hey, guess what? I'm in debt. And I've been working on figuring out like how I think about debt. All right. Debt is neutral. All right. I really want to believe debt is neutral. It doesn't feel neutral to me. Debt is just a number. It's a legal agreement between me and the people to whom I owe money like lawyers and, and that sort of thing. Um, and it doesn't really feel all that neutral. And I'm doing a lot of work to figure out what are the bridging thoughts, uh, okay, that I want to create to make debt neutral. Because, and you'll see, I'm going to diagram this out. You'll see that uh, um, I, uh, the, the more neutral we can make our circumstances, okay, because circumstances are neutral, and we can intellectually understand it, but we don't understand it in our own body. Okay, there are very few people out there who really truly believe coronavirus is neutral, but I assure coronavirus is neutral. It is a circumstance, it is something that is happening out in the world. Okay, the people who are out are saying it's a hoax have thoughts about a circumstance. The people out there who are saying we have to panic have thoughts about a circumstance. The people out there who say coronavirus is caused by the gays are having a thought about probably multiple circumstances, okay? Um, and they're, you know, like, people get to decide. People are people and they get to decide what they believe in because a belief is a thought that you think just a whole lot that you've thought for, that you've thought for a really long time. And so I was working on my debt belief and I was, I was, I did like the water paradigm. I want my debt to be neutral. I, it still isn't. I've been working on this for mm, five straight quarters. Okay. And debt isn't neutral to me yet. Sorry. I wish I could tell you I was a life coach who had all my shit figured out and I don't, which is what makes me a good life coach. Okay. And this is what I figured out. I figured out that I have, so we have debt, okay? And we're just gonna use debt, personal debt, business debt, whatever, whatever it is, okay? Because this just happens to be the conversation that I'm having with myself, all right? And we have time zero, okay? Anybody up for a discussion about entropy? Because I could totally have a discussion about entropy. So we have past, and we have future, right? And so sometime between the past and the future, my friends, is the... Anybody wonder why I use graph paper, right? Between the past and the future is the now, okay? And right now we have thoughts that are positive and we have thoughts that are negative about any individual situation. It could be debt, it could be coronavirus, it could be kids, it could be spouses, it could be what you're making for lunch. Mm. Totally neutral. All nouns. And they're all totally neutral, okay? And this is what I was thinking is, I have debt that I accrued in the past and I had thoughts about that debt in the past, okay? And I have debt that is a part of my business, 
right now. Uh, okay. And I'm not giving you the real numbers, but uh, um, I know what the real I know what the real numbers are. Okay. And so say the debt is $200,000. Okay, that's about what I owe myself on the development and deployment of the locker. Okay, that's it's I don't I don't owe people $200,000 on it, but that's kind of like that's kind of the 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 time and 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 accrual and things like that on inventing that. So, should you want to invent something, there you go. Um so if we have if so what I'm trying what I know to be true, okay? is that debt is neutral, but I only, I only believe that intellectually, okay? And I know that in order for me to create the wealth that I want to create in the universe, I need a different relationship with money, okay? Whether you believe the law of attraction, whether you believe, um, you know, like, you know, there are a thousand different ways out there to think about money. But the truth is, is however you think about money right now is a direct reflection of how much money you have. I would like to have more money. I would like to change that circumstance in the future. So like out here, I would like to change that. But in order for me to change that, I have to think about money differently in the right now. Okay. But here's what happens is I think about my debt and I put a number to it, all right? So if you're playing along at home, just go into your bank account, um, go into your budgeting software. I use YNAB, you need a budget. If you want a referral code, I refer it and my bookkeeper gets a free month of YNAB. I don't get a free month of YNAB, but let me tell you, YNAB changed my life. All right, and so say we have a debt of $200,000, okay? And I look at that $200,000 and I promise you in the present right now, $200,000 in debt, uh, not neutral to me, okay? And so I'm like down here. And then I say, okay, but in the future, I wanna pay off this debt. And if I look at the law of attraction or money energy in the universe, or whatever it is, uh, okay? <laughs> I know that in order for me to change the circumstance around money, I need to feel differently, okay? Because I can't change, like, unless I win the lottery, right? I'm not gonna change this circumstance about money. And I don't play the lottery, so it's gonna be surpassingly difficult for me to win it, all right? But in order for me to feel differently about money and to feel differently about debt, so that I can free my brain up to solve this problem because it's very difficult to solve problems down here and it's way easier to solve problems up here. I want to think differently about my debt, okay? And in order to think differently about my debt, as time moves on, I want this to move towards neutral, right? So this is neutral. In the now, I don't feel positive, I don't feel negative, I'm just like, oh, the debt is there, right? If you were thinking about weight loss, this is, I hate my body, I have a body, I love my body, <laughs> right? <clears throat> and so the thing is, is that all the thoughts that come from the past, right, wherever they've been, have led me to right here. And so then what most people do is say, okay, I got to think positively about my debt. And let me tell you how many books I have read about thinking positively about your debt so that you can pay it off. I think they're all bullshit. Okay. And I figured out why today. <laughs> because what happens is, is that you say, all right, I'm going to think a different thought. All right. And I, um, and so the thought, I'm, I'm, I'm just reading my journal from this morning. I want debt to be neutral, okay? And so I go over here and I say, I want debt to be neutral. And you know what I immediately noticed about myself when I did this? What I immediately noticed about myself is I started um, 
beating myself up. Huh? Because guess what? Beating self up. Okay. And when I do that, I'm in self hostility. Yeah? Because till if T. I'm in self hostility. Yeah? And I'm building evidence I'm not good enough. All right. And when I'm in that, and when I'm in this, okay, even though this seems like such a nice thought, right? I just want my debt to be neutral. It does, it's not actually here. I don't want that yet. I'm still in the, Michelle, you're a bad person for accruing debt. Okay. And so my result then is I increase my belief. That debt is bad. All right? I increase my belief that debt is bad. All right? And this is what happens, okay? Is that then I take my thought and I've now moved down because time has passed, right? And here's negative thought. And here is positive thought, and I actually feel worse. Okay, and so I this is the thought bludgeon. Okay, so this is me coming in with um, a bludgeon. So I'm calling this the belief bludgeon, and I'm trying to bludgeon myself into positive thoughts. But what's going to happen is, is that this is just going to fall in the toilet. Okay. Because I'm trying to believe things I don't believe yet. All right. And so when you try and force yourself to believe things that you don't believe yet, all you do is end up reinforcing your belief that you can't do it. You're or not enough to whatever even if it seems like a super like useful thought okay super useful thought is I want debt to be neutral well guess what when I think that I actually make my situation worse I make it worse and I like and it's a belief bludgeon and my I feel worse about the situation instead of better Okay. And so when you're doing like looking around and saying, I want my life to be better, I want you to be really careful and say, huh, when I, when, when I come up with a sentence that may or may not, first of all, you allow yourself may or may not be true. Okay. And you figure out whether or not that is really what you want. And it turns out for me, I'm not in a space where I actually want debt to be neutral. And so I back that off. All right. And so it, um, so I back that off into a different thought, which is I want to develop the capability, D E D E. All right. I want to develop the capability for debt to be neutral. All right. You can substitute in any circumstance here. I want to develop the capability for not yelling at my kids. I want to develop the capability, all right? And it allows you to figure out what you want, all right? I was working with my 12-year-old. Well, he's going to be 12 in a week. Um, and I was asking him, we were talking about school, you know, and, and um, 
unsurprisingly, his inability to organize himself at school and be organized at school and get all of his work done doesn't magically improve when he comes home, <laughs> okay? Um, and we were going through, you know, um, he had five days worth of assignments um, over, um, I think, five classes at school and then work we are having them do. So they have to do, do it for us, for me and Andrew. They have to, in addition to their schoolwork, they have to do Duolingo language. Um, they have to do Khan Academy math and they have to do Khan Academy in some other um, uh, field of study, whatever they want. So. He picks social studies all the time, and he loves that. He really did that because um, he's related to his uncle Charlie. <laughs> um, and so, uh, so we were going through, and he was asking for a and we're like, like, kids are not getting their their uh, Chromebooks this weekend, um, and let's and 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 got a review. We're going to do it Saturday. We're going to do a week of review with everybody on how you did. Um, and what it came down to, we reviewed, did you, like, if this is what done is for your school French class, you did the French class assignment and you talked to your teacher. Like, this is the thing about home learning. It's not just doing the work, it's communicating to your teacher that you did the work. That, you know, like, might be good training for the workforce, you think. <laughs> um, and, and so you do the work and you communicate with the teacher. Well. He's arguing that he did the work, which may or may not be true. Okay, a couple of days he did do the work, but he didn't communicate with the teachers, and we know this because we're getting an epic number of emails um, from his teachers saying, hey, Zach, you have to actually talk to us, we, you know, like, and so what it came down to is when he's telling me, no, I did the work, understanding whether or not he was telling the truth. Okay, now, in a 12-year-old, learning how to lie is actually a developmentally appropriate thing. Like, he's supposed to be learning how to lie right now. All right? But the question is, is he lying to himself and then lying to us, or is he telling himself the truth, all right, and then lying, and then lying to us? Lying to yourself to... to shield and resist intense emotions uh, is a negatively adaptive uh, mechanism in our minds, okay? And it's something a lot of us learned how to do. Um, and um, it leads to things like debt, okay? Debt, like if you talk to some people, debt is a form of lying to yourself, especially around like commercial things like that. And um, that's like the Dave Ramsey sort of way of approaching it is buying things with money we don't we don't have as a, a form of lying to yourself as I understand Dave Ramsey I don't I don't do the Ramsey method um and so anyway so I'm I'm concerned with him right because uh, there are ways that we know hey Zach did you clean your room? oh yeah in my room and you walk in and there's like wall to wall stuff it's like really did you know you were lying? Uh, no. Maybe. Okay. And then the question is, is do you want to tell the truth? Uh, right? That's where all of this is going is, is do you want to tell the truth to yourself? Because like Ben said a couple of days ago, all of this is dependent upon you develop, you, you wanting to tell the truth. Do you want to develop the capabilities to feel better? Uh, Okay, I was talking with one of the people I coach, and she's like, I'm freaking out because if I believe what you're saying, Michelle, if I believe my circumstances are neutral and I, my thoughts create my own results, then I'm going to have to change. And the answer is yes. If you don't feel now and you want to feel better, you are going to have to change. And that's terrifying to your brain. That's terrifying to the back of your, like, to your, 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 your most primitive parts of your brain because the job of the most primitive parts of your brain is to keep you safe. And if all of a sudden you go around thinking thoughts like, I want to develop the capability for debt to be neutral. I want to develop the capability to be the person the universe is calling me to be. 
the very first thing that's going to happen is you're going to your brain is going to freak out, okay? And it's going to give you thoughts that seem really helpful that lead to self-hostility and beating the snot out of yourself, right? And lead to more thoughts around I'm not good enough because you don't believe you can do it yet. All right. And so what we need to do is we need to create bridge thoughts. All right. That instead of bludgeoning us down in the future to like more negative thoughts, instead say, huh, I bet you there is a point at some point in the future where I can feel better. All right. And make really small changes to get yourself used to changing. We're not used to changing, most of us, right? I mean, like, we're not. And so instead of saying, I want my whatever circumstance we're talking about to get up to this neutral line and you're hitting our teeth, I want my debt to be neutral. Seems really neutral if I say it that way, eh? But instead, if I say, hey, I'm developing the capability, I'm going to get a different color here, I'm developing the capability to make my debt neutral, as I think what I said. I'm developing the capability um, for debt to be neutral. Oh, that actually feels pretty good. And then as time marches on, right? and we have positive thoughts and we have negative thoughts, I'm developing the capability for debt to be neutral. All of a sudden, instead of down here, I'm like up here. And that feels a lot better. Like decreasing the negative burden, the negative like emotional burden on yourself is really good, <sighs> right? And that's why when, when I was talking earlier in the week, about the about how I the the words I use to run my life, which I've talked about a lot over the over the course of these, but I have them written in here, right? It's presence, allowance, and sufficiency, and this is presence and allowance and sufficiency in action. I'm being present to how I talk to myself. Right? I'm allowing myself to understand, oh wow, when I think I want debt to be neutral, I immediately beat myself up. I immediately beat myself up. And then I say, okay, but how am I enough in this moment? Oh wait, I can think that maybe at some point in the future, I'll have the capability to make debt be neutral. Maybe at some point in the future, I'll have the capability not to yell at my kids. Maybe at some point in the future, I'll have the capability to make $75 million in a year. Maybe at some point in the future, I'll have the capability to bring Andrew on a first class flight to Paris and stay in Paris first class to celebrate his 50th birthday. So we're not doing this year. It's going to turn 50, but we're not doing that trip. So, you know, like, I am developing the capability as wake yourself to put down the belief bludgeon because you can't go from I hate my debt to I am free and easy in my debt Ugh. anymore you can go from I hate my body to I love my body I hate my debt I have debt I know what I'm doing with my debt and I'm able to pay it off okay it's a stepwise motion Okay, and we call those thought bridges. So, and you gotta be careful with your thought bridges that you're not trying to leap from here to here. Can you? Sure. It's the unusual person who will do it that way. Yeah. Okay, like this stuff takes me, I mean, dude, I've been working on my debt for, what did I say, 15 straight months. Like, and I mean, working on it's about my debt, paying my debt down family debt and, and um, business debt, been working on that very seriously for a long time. Um, and I realized today, today that I have this belief bludgeon that when I think I want my debt to just be neutral, to just be a circumstance, I'm still not there yet. 15 months, guys. Uh, and I work on my brain two hours a day, like almost at a minimum. Uh, 
right? So give yourself a break, <laughs> okay? Give yourself a break and say, ha, huh, that's what puts me lower on my belief scale. Low, it makes me feel worse when I'm doing this. <sighs> Take a deep breath and say, ha, huh, it may or may not be true that I want this. So it's just because you say I want this doesn't mean you actually want it. Doesn't mean it's for your long-term good. We all know that, right? That's a whole nother set of coaching. But just notice when you're when when you think thoughts and whether or not they create self-hostility, whether it is that you want. Because in order for this stuff, whatever whatever your circumstance is. In order for you to feel better about your circumstance, it's literally taking it from negative thoughts to more neutral thoughts. Don't worry about making it feel good. A lot of us want to try and live in what I call future perfect, okay? So future perfect is where this is unicorns and daisies and roses and everybody has long flowing hair and long flowing robes and nothing ever, you know, like we're all woo, okay? This is hope, but lives aren't built on hope, right? Lives are built on persistent action. Lives are built on goals. Lives are built on, you know, the life that you want. It's built on understanding where you are right now and whether or not that's working for you. Okay. So we're not going for future perfect. We are going for sufficient now. <laughs> Alrighty, so I wish you a weekend in presence and allowance and sufficiency. And see you here tomorrow, and I'm going to go over the like the curriculum for next week, which is going to be all the all the life coaching hacks that I have uh, on that are all based on the water, the strive, and light. Um, uh, uh, models that I use um, to understand our own brain. Okay, so the question mind is the kind mind that's in the um, that's over on the YouTube channel. Go like us on YouTube. As soon as I get like a hundred people to um, uh, like me or subscribe to me or whatever it is over on YouTube, um, I get to name my YouTube channel. <laughs> so goals, my friend. All right, you are all beautiful, amazing people. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for all of your DMs and your emails about how helpful these things are. If these are helpful, pass them along to somebody else. I'd love to see them here. Um, because the more people we can get to sufficient, the better we are all going to do and the more problems we are going to solve in the world. You're amazing, beautiful people. Have a great rest of your Saturday.